All right, so we want to take the next few minutes to talk about your future. How's it looking? Are you not happy with what you have lined up? Well, why not take the steps necessary to change that path and we can throw one idea your way this afternoon. Join me in welcoming Secretary Stephen Moyer. He's with the Maryland Department of Safety and Correctional Services. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. No, Jimmy, thanks. Have you back. Now, you've been here before. Been here two times before and thanks for having us back. Talked about a, a career as a correctional officer. It's a great career. One of the largest prisons in the state is just south of Salisbury. It's the Eastern Correctional Institute. Right. And we have just under 800 employees there and uh, 3,000 inmates, so we're looking for people who want a career, not just a job. You're looking for applicants. Now, there's a new incentive that you've got going on. What's, what's going on here? What we did was we were having challenges across the state hiring people, so we uh, worked with the governor's office and received permission to offer a $5,000 bonus incentive to come and work with us. Uh, everybody who works for us goes through a training academy, mm -hmm. and that lasts six weeks. At the end of those six weeks, people will be given a $2,000 um, bonus, and at the end of their first year, an additional $3,000. We feel it's a good incentive. Uh, it's the right number, and we've seen an uptake in the number of applicants since we announced this. And, and yet you're still hiring. You've still got openings. Do, do you think there's a misconception in here somewhere? I, I think a lot of people have been watching what's been going on in the national and local media as far as um, incidents, whether it's law enforcement or people that work in corrections. Yeah. It's a great job. It's a 20, you can retire at the end of 20 years. Um, it's incredible training. It's almost like being on a sports team. You work as a team. It's not an I individual effort. And most of the teams work together on it any, any given day. Now, uh, it, as you said, there are problems, but you've got some new security protocols in place. Yes, we worked um, again with Governor Hogan, and we did an emergency procurement for a system called CellSense. It's a very sensitive uh, metal detector. Right. Uh, we use it uh, throughout the facility. We bought 161 units for our 23 facilities across the state, and it, it is so sensitive it even picks up uh, a staple that was in somebody's shoe uh, coming through the door one day. Wow, that's so incredible. The first time we rolled it out uh, at, at ECI, the, uh, the, uh, the inmates started chucking their, uh, their, their weapons out on the floor because if, if they're caught with a weapon, it's a violation and they do you know, a longer period of time. Right. But the employees love it because as soon as they see that the cell sense is set up, um, it makes a safer environment for our employees immediately. Now, you know, I, and I'm sure you've had a lot of inquiries. You said that you had a lot of applications for the position. Um, what about somebody who's thinking, you know what, this really sounds great. I'd love to be able to retire in 20 years. It does sound like great compensa compensation, wonderful benefits, but I don't know that I could make it as a corrections officer. What would you tell them? I would say if, if, if you've always wanted a career in public safety, when I say public safety, that means corrections, security, right. law enforcement, uh, juvenile services. Um, if, you, if you've always had this, this desire to do this type of work, I mean, our starting pay is $40,000 with a, with a GED. Probably make five to 10,000 uh, in, in overtime. Uh, you, you get to work with great people. We have multiple generations of families that have worked uh, at ECI and um, all, all of our other locations across the state. I would encourage people to you know, go over to ECI, introduce themselves. We can take people on a, on a tour to see what, what the reality of doing this job is. Right. And so that the misconceptions or painted pictures you know, that come through a, a TV show or a movie uh, is erased. Right. Um, we've, right. We take people through on a pretty regular basis and every single person says, it's not what I thought it was going to be. It's a, it's a dangerous job. I mean, they're working behind the fence, right. you know, with, with, with no, you know, with no weapons. It's all how you're trained and some, some tools, you know, to help you uh, in those situations where people aren't behaving. Now, you have a long and decorated career in, in public safety. Why are you so passionate about this? I was with the state police 24 years, worked private security for University of Maryland Hospital in Baltimore for five years was a deputy chief of police in Sarasota, but my father was a career uh, law enforcement officer, and on his deathbed, I had retired from the state police. He said, you got to get back in public safety. You know, you, you just have to do it. Yeah. And 24 hours he passed, and uh, within five months, I was, I was back in public safety. you were safety. back. Yep. You were back. Yep. Okay. So you're looking for folks. You have a phone number. 
Yes. For us to call. It's 410-585-3060. Four, four, I think is. I got it right. Okay, so that, that number is to call, and we can find out what by calling that number. You, you can call. Um, either someone will answer, there'll be a recording, and we'll get back to you, you know, hopefully within 24 hours. Right. Uh, the way the process works, you have, to, you have to take, you submit an application, you take a test, we do a background. If you pass the test, we start a background check, and we now have a polygraph requirement, which it is a challenge because again that's another thing with what people see on TV and what it, people see in movies right just come in and be honest people fail polygraphs because they try to guess what answer we want to hear instead of just yeah, yeah I did something stupid when I was 17 you know I mean just be honest about it doesn't necessarily knock you out of it doesn't necessarily just knock you out truthfully. but if you lie about it then you're gonna know and you're gonna knock yourself out for lying about something really minor. There you go. And I want to say thank you again for the hat, too, by the way. You gave me a no hat. No problem, no problem. Way. Thank you. And gave Lisa one, too. She said yep, it's going to yep. be perfect. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate Secretary it. Secretary Seymour, thank you so very much. Um, with the Department of Safety, Maryland Department of Safety and Correctional Services, thank you, by the way, for what you do. No, it's what, it's what, the, it's what my 10,000 employees do every day. Well, thank right. you. Thank right. them thank for you. us then. All right. We yes, appreciate sir. that. Now, if you'd like to read more about what Secretary Moyer had to say, all you have to do is go to DelmarvaLife.com.